Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. We're on our way for a walk. So John and I are totally like twinning. Yeah. <laughs> You're my lady in red. Well, John's more of a maroony color. And mine's a red, but Yours unintentional. Is a neck. Mine is a V-neck. Oh, what ifs? Semantics. So earlier, John and I were busy talking about attention deficit disorder or ADD and how different symptoms can manifest differently in each person. And John happened to tell me a really funny story about a time he got really locked on and I thought that it was so hilarious and I asked him if he'd share it with you guys. So John, please share the story of the time you got locked on with the golf ball. It was in standard nine, which would be grade 11 for so people. Would be 16. In the, yeah, about 16. And the... We used to sit in groups of four in desks. They were sort of old school work desks. And obviously from bygone era, there used to be an inkwell and next to it was a place to put your pen. And I had a golf ball that I was busy rolling up and down the pen holder. It wasn't a very, it wasn't a very long area, but I was rolling it. And the guy sitting diagonally in front of me turned around to me and said, John, that's really annoying. <laughs> Please can you please can you stop rolling the ball? But I was really enjoying rolling the ball. <laughs> so, like an ADD person does who gets locked on, I carried on rolling the ball. I wasn't gonna let his lack of enjoyment of the ball rolling stop me. And with that, he turned around and he hit me <laughs> in the face. Wait for it, wait for it. So I was a little bamboozled by that and I started to laugh and he said to me are you laughing and I said yes because I can't believe you just did that I'm just rolling a golf ball and he then turned around and I started doing it again <laughs> and then? at which point he turned around and smacked me again <laughs> through the face and or in the face through actually and I at that point I decided stopped. to take it a bit more seriously <laughs> and I stopped <laughs> but that's just one of those moments where if we're enjoying something we get very caught up in it and the rest of the world seems mm -hmm. to disappear so if you're ever gonna hire someone with ADD you need to know that about them if they're not interested in they whatever it is not interested. they are very not interested but if we are interested then we get locked on so then you can use our powers of well, they they call it it's got a name. What's the name for it? For what? Hyperfocus. Hyperfocus. So we go into hyperfocus and then literally the rest of the world just disappears. And the task at hand becomes our entire world. So we're very useful in some ways. It's just got the other side where we can be a bit annoying and, and almost demand attention or I don't know what it is. Definitely needy. Yeah, needy. One of the reasons that we choose to live in a small town, aside from getting a view, like that every evening is that it keeps us calm so we have a brain functioning that works super fast and so external stimuli tend to overwhelm us so living in a calm quiet town where there's not much traffic where there's not many people it basically just allows us to focus and calm down and just get back to basics we are home now from our walk. We have night watch tonight, cats. which means we just have to have a bit of a chill. The cats waiting are here us. waiting to welcome us home. Hi, Mango. Hi. Oh, you are so cute. Boris. Oh. So we are going to go and chill for a little bit, have some dinner. And then at one o'clock this morning, we will be driving around patrolling being vigilantes <laughs> so <laughs> that is it for today hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below hit that red button and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.